Hello guys and welcome to C Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. In the previous tutorial, we discussed about the constants, variables and variable declaration. Today, in this tutorial, we are discussing about the keywords. So, keywords are nothing but these are the preserved words that has special meaning in C language. That's nothing but these are the words which has predefined meaning. For example, if I tell tomato, then you know the meaning of tomato, right? It is a vegetable and it will be in the round shape. So you know what is tomato is, right? If I tell hospital, then you know what is hospital is, right? So in our life also, we'll use some things which has predefined meaning. The meaning of that things are stored in our mind, right? In same way, in the C language also, there are some words which has predefined meaning and these words are called as keywords and the predefined meaning of these words are described to the C compiler. So when I use the keywords in my program, compiler will come to know that it is a keyword and it already know the meaning of that keyword. And the example for keywords are if Okay, this is a keyword else or we can write switch for okay. These are all the keywords. That means these are the words which has predefined meaning. So when I use this if in my program, compiler will come to know why I use this. Okay, next there are 32 keywords in the C language and they are Okay, so these are the keywords in the C language that is auto, break, case, const, character, continue, default, do, double, else, enum, extern, float, for, go to, if, int, long, register, return, short, signed, size of, static, struct, switch, type def, union, unsigned, volatile, void, while. These are the 32 keywords in the C language. And in the previous tutorial, while explaining about the variables, I told you that we can't use keyword as the variable. That's because as I said, keywords has predefined meaning. Okay. And these meanings cannot be changed. If you use the keywords as the variable for example for is a keyword right so i'll use this as a variable and i'll try to assign some value to this so at that time what will happen is here you are trying to change the meaning of this word okay but this is the keyword which has predefined meaning and we can't change the meaning of this word but here you are trying to change the meaning of this word so because of this you will get error that's why we can't use keywords as the variable name. Okay. And in C, all the keywords are written in lowercase letter. So I'll show you the 32 keywords, right? Here we can see all the words are in the lowercase letter. And C is a case sensitive language. Okay. So here, this is the keyword. Okay. For, but this is not the keyword okay and both these are not same because c is a case sensitive so you need to write the keywords in the lowercase letter only and this is not the keyword okay and this is also not a keyword as i said these two are not keywords so so then we can use this as a variable name right because these are not keywords and as in the variable name rules, we can use alphabets as the variable name and it contains all the alphabets. So we can write this as a variable and we can assign some value to this. Syntactically, this is valid. Okay. But using this is not a good habit. Okay. So this is about the keywords in the C programming language. Or we can see the words which has predefined meanings. Okay, so that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll meet you in next class. Till then, take care.